It's the guns on the beat. Look. One, two, one, two, check. Hey, check. I'm a lap on the general. They will make me check. Trendybeats.com. My brother, I have a letter. Just you know, when you push yourself too much to people, you lose uh, relevance and all that. So I've been into music all the way from 1990 to 1999. Yeah, your body, you. Oh, they do me some kind, some kind. Hey, you can't without you, I no go make them. I be you don't they feel. Without you, I know go blow. Your first experience, personally. You have um, idols, the pianist, and you have idols, the, the artist. So, mm -hmm. uh, from the side of the uh, being a pianist, uh, I will tell you that it was fun all through. The people need a face, people need a name, people need a voice. So, you got a lot of work to have a face, to have a name. And to have a voice. You said uh, there is this thing you 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 literally have to do before you be able to get a name. Could you mind mentioning some of them? It's your work that will give you a name. It's your voice, a well-known voice. Have you made an impact that when people hear your voice, they will say, "Ah, is this person? Have you gotten a hit? Have you made an impact as an artist?" Now, how did you know that? You're not going to be doing a gospel song. You're supposed to be doing this type of song you do now. Once a choir director mm -hmm. and all that, so I handled my choir and all that. So I, I was into gospel music. But growing up as an artist, I happen to understand another thing I, I never knew. I, I, I started seeing the market and the shape it was taking. Mm -hmm. Then I understood that, yes, the genre of music you do doesn't matter. Okay. What matters is um, the message and the That's image okay. you portray. The high life, if you're doing reggae, if you're doing R&B, if you're doing country music, it's all about your lyrics. Most of my followers are even church people, reverend fathers, pastors, bishop, are my adult followers. There are so many artists that when they have not said Gear your body, yo, or they do me some kind, some kind, they never start to be seen. So, why is it like that? Is it because maybe that is actually what they feel the market is all about, like the music market is all about, or they just want to follow the trend? That kind of song is meant for some kind of people, all right, and the kind of song I do is still meant for some people because when you make sense too much, you become it becomes boring to some people, okay. so. So the, uh, sometimes we try to be flexible. Okay. So if you make sense, make sense. It's just like a popular saying that uh, all works on the play we always oh, catch oh, job. Uh, job <laughs> okay. So we try to be flexible. When you make sense too much, try to play around. You understand? And then of course there is this thing about um, this part of your song that portrays what a lot of persons choose to call an umbra kind of music. Whereas you you always emphasize on the fact that you rap mpano in Imo State. Now, for anybody from Imo State, whoever it is producing a song from there, you always know how it sounds. And then you know some persons will want to say what actually gave you that particular uh, uh, belief that uh, you know Anambra sound is better than that particular one. I think um, I, I just found my strength. Okay, it's all about strength. Hmm? Mm -hmm. So I, I noticed that yes, there is strength in flexibility. So I noticed that yes, I'm this kind of artist that is flexible. I am not I will not tell you that I can only do this. I find myself doing a whole lot of things. So and instead of instead of um, that becoming um, um, a thing of worry, it became my strength in particular because I've been able to use that to reach out to a, a bigger crowd okay. because yes being flexible that's when you came to find out that even when i have hits like ebotic or four yeah deputy jesus i still had hits like Ibo yes. like 
uh, um, ibuprofen. So are we uh, uh, going to be seeing uh, Ani really doing an exclusive Afrobeat song pretty soon? Because of course, about flexibility. of course. I, I actually, even well before I started producing songs in the studio, on my stage performances, I do Afrobeat as in like. I do Afrobeat the, just the way it sounds. So it's still gonna, uh, my song with David is still gonna pop up very soon. Uh, so you know you start ever say David on the board. <laughs> my song with David on Peruzzi is oh, gonna wow. come up very soon. So do they really have to move to Lagos to become what they need to become? Years back it would have been possible. Okay. But thank God for this generation because the social media has really, 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 you know, closed the gap. Mm. It has really, really, you know, it has taken out the fence, those bridges mm. we used to have there. So right now, you can be anywhere in the world and reach out to your crowd mm -hmm. if you know that you can actually use social media as a tool to achieve what you want. Uh, what really makes a good musician, because a lot of persons now get into music, some of them do not have qualities, you know, in quotes, uh, of being a, a good musician, but they get into music. Some of them, you listen to them and you wonder, oh, can me, can me, man, man, what, what thing really carry you go there? Your work rate defines an artist. Most of the times, it's not all about talent. Talent to me is 30%. The work behind the talent is 70%. That's, mm -hmm. that's that's what defines an artist. That's why sometimes you find an average artist, you know, becoming a trade.